you're looking for an unbiased review and walkthrough of Thrivecar, then this video is for you. Hi, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through two sections of Thrivecar. I'm going to show you how to use it as an affiliate so that you can promote other people's products. You'll see that I've sold about eighteen or $19,000 worth of products this month. And I'll also show you how to set up your own product so that you can sell it online super, super easily. Whether you sell digital offers or physical offers, Thrivecar is a great platform. Now, to be perfectly transparent, I got lifetime access to Thrivecar back in 2018, but unfortunately, back then, at least for me, I couldn't use it due to some bugs that they had. So I went off and I actually invested in Pay Kickstart, which is a separate shopping cart. I still use and still love Pay Kickstart. This video is not a comparison of the two. But I've now come back to Thrivecar and I've found that all of those issues that I had in the past have been fixed and it really is a great, easy to use shopping cart. And the great thing about Thrivecar is it's a one-time payment as well. Now, nothing's perfect. I do have a written review below this video if you wanna check out some of the negative aspects as well and get some more details on the issues that I faced. But I really like it and I've managed to make money as an affiliate and also set up my own products this past few months using Thrivecart. So let's hop on over and let's see just how simple it is to use. See you soon. So once you've logged into your Thrivecart account, you'll be prompted to choose between your affiliate account or your seller account. So let's go to the affiliate account first. So if we click on go to account, that's then gonna log you in there and you can see your affiliate dashboard. So you can see today pretty much no activity has happened. If I was to look into the past, I could go for example, month to date. And then we can see this month today as an affiliate, I've delivered 1,206 clicks, 89 transactions. I've sold $18,500 worth of somebody else's products which has given me net commissions of $9,250. If we wanna look in more detail, we can click on commission history and we can see what products we have made commissions for. So we can see this is a product that I've been promoting by a friend of mine, James Brown. People have paid via PayPal or via Stripe, and this is the amount of commission that I've earned. If you wanna see other products that you approve to promote, you can click and you can go down and you can choose the products there. So that's fairly simple. If you click on products, then you can actually see the products themselves. So these are the products that I am approved to promote on Thrivecart, not a whole lot. I don't do that much work as an affiliate on Thrivecart, but let's say that I wanted to go and get my links. So for example, I could click on convert box and we can see that this is approved. So I'm approved to promote this. And then I can click on view and I can get my link. I have two links in this case. I have my affiliate link and then they have a special lifetime offer. If I want to deliver a bonus, I can click on bonus delivery and then I can give a URL and an email if I have one so that anybody that buys through my link can either get the bonus here or in my case, I've given them a link to contact me to request their bonus. If you want to, you can put your tracking codes in here and if the vendor has made any promotional materials available, in this case they haven't, but if they had, they would be in here. And again, we just come back to affiliate info. So it's fairly simple. You are going to want to connect your PayPal account before you promote products because some of these products will promote, will pay you via PayPal. And you wanna, of course, have your PayPal connected. Now, if you would like to switch from your affiliate account to your vendor account, that's fairly straightforward. You come up here to your little profile picture, click on the drop down go to my account, and then we can see here that this one here, this top one, is the vendor account. So if you've got your own products that you'd like to sell, and you would like to use Thrivecart as your cart, then this is what you would do. So I'm gonna click on go to account here. I don't sell a lot of stuff on Thrivecart myself. The majority of my products I sell on Pay Kickstart, which is a different 
cart. They're both good. They both have their pros and cons, but this video is more about Thrivecart. So let's just look at the top. We have our dashboard, which is where we are here. If I want to click on go, for example, month to date, I probably sold a few hundred dollars, not a whole bunch. $376 there. We can um, look at our products. So I can click on products, and these will be the products that I have set up on Thrivecart. These ones down here are tests that I never use these. If I hover over that, you can see this was back in 2018. I actually explain on my blog review, if you click on the link below this video, if you're watching on YouTube, why I had to wait a couple of years until very recently to use Thrivecart. So let's look at this one. We've got three products here. So I've got this one here, which is Crypto for Beginners PLR. So I could look at the stats and I could go, for example, month to date. So we can see that I've sold one copy of this. I've had my cart viewed seven times. Six people have bounced off of my checkout page, which means that I could potentially go and optimize it. But there's just not enough traffic for me to make any decisions thus forward. If I want to choose a different product, so website security, you can see this has converted a little bit better, 25% conversion rate. So that's what you can do. You can flick between your products there. Let's go back to products. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the basics of creating a new product inside of Thrivecart so that you can sell it. We're not going to get into all of the minor details but we'll, I'll show you how to do it at a very basic level. So we're going to click on create product. It's a digital product. So I'll hit this and then we'll let this sort itself out. We're going to have to give it a name. So this is going to be meditation video content PLR. And I can just for now, I'll just call this meditation PLR for now. We'll leave it at test mode for now. We're not going to make this live just yet because I don't actually have the sales page ready. So as we do this, you're going to want to keep your test mode URL basically secret because if anybody comes to it, they could potentially go to that page and buy it for nothing and get access. So you're probably going to see that this is a bit blurred out. We're going to hit next and then we want to choose our currency. So it's US dollars by default. I'm going to set the product price. So I'll click on this. For me, it's going to be a one-time fee of $47. Now, I personally am going to limit the quantity available. So set the, set the limit to 70. The reason that I do this is because I want to have some exclusivity for my product and allow people that are members of my video content club to not be not have too much competition so we're going to set the limit to 70 you can do whatever you want then we're going to hit next and i want to allow one purchase at a time so just click off of that hit save and that should be good to go i'm not going to take walk you through this you can go through this if you want to now set out of stock options is important because we've set it to be limited to 70 sales. So what I want to happen is once copies are sold, if people go to the sales page and try to buy it, it's going to redirect to another page. And I'm just going to pause this video and grab the URL of that page. So there we go. This is a sold out page. And on this page, it tells people what they should do. But the product is in fact sold out. If anybody knows me, I don't do fake scarcity. If there are 70 copies available, that's it. I'm not going to magically make it 71. Then we're going to hit save settings. So that part is done. And you can see we go through the process here. So we can click on next and it's going to ask us if we want to set up a bump on this offer. All the bumps are great for getting extra commissions, but for brevity, I'm going to hit next and not have an order bump. Payment processes, I'm going to click set up processes and I'm going to choose Stripe and PayPal. You do, of course, need to have this set up and connected to your Thrivecart account. We're going to hit save. So that's good. And then we're going to hit next. Do you want affiliates to promote this product? In this case, I don't. If you do, click on this and follow the instructions. Instructions. We're going to hit next. Access to your product. So first of all, I need to have my support email. So support at video content, spell it correctly, plr.com. 
And what should happen after they purchase, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to add them to my membership site. Now, my membership site is Wishlist and this is connected. Again, you're going to have to, of course, connect your membership site to Thrivecart. They have lots of videos and documentation depending on the membership platform that you use. So if somebody buys the meditation one, then of course I want them to get access to the meditation level. I have a variety of different levels, but I only want them to get access to what they've purchased. The login URL I'm going to add in a second. Um, so actually, let me do that now. I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and grab that. Actually, what I'll do is I will put here a thank you page instead of a login URL. So whenever anybody buys, they go to a thank you page. Now, my thank you page, of course, has already been set up. It's a page that has a video on there and it tells them what to do. The emails are on their way. The emails are going to contain their login credentials. All of that stuff, of course, is set up already in the background. And I'm going to check this revoke access when customer cancels or refunds. So that should be good to go. Now we're going to hit next. This is where we design our cart. So I'm going to click on design and I'm going to copy design from another product. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to copy the design from my website security one because that seems to have a better conversion rate. And we're going to copy everything, but then we're going to have to go in and edit it. So let's click on copy. Now, of course, if you don't have one, you'll create them from scratch, but they're very, very simple. So this image isn't relevant because it's for a different one. So what I'll need to do is basically click on this and click on this little icon here. And then I can't use one of these images. So I'm going to upload an image from my computer. Okay, so here it is here, Meditation PNG. So let's open this. This then needs to upload. And once it's uploaded, we're going to click Use Image. Let's just make sure it uploads correctly. There we go. That's good. So we're going to use Image. That should then populate up here. Fingers crossed. There we go. Meditation, video content, PLR. That's fine. Everything else is fine. These are testimonials from current members of my video content PLR service who have allowed me to use their testimonials. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do on this page. I could probably make it better and include more information. If you want to add something, you can just click on one of these elements and you can kind of drag it and drop it. And then you can, of course, edit and play around with this. You can make it look as good as you want to. So once we're OK, we're going to click on success page. So with success page, customers will be automatically redirected to your custom success page, which we set up previously. So we're good to go there. Let's hit next. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're almost done. What we need to do now is come to behavior. You can, of course, add your tracking in here, but we'll leave that for later. Behavior. If somebody makes a purchase, what do we want to happen? Well, in this case, we're going to add rule. And I use Aweber as my autoresponder, which is already connected. If you use GetResponse or Drip or ActiveCampaign or something else, of course, you're going to need to integrate whatever you want with Thrivecart. But in this case, use Aweber. And I want to add them to. And then I've got to choose the list in question. So I'm going to come down... I've got a bunch of lists in here, video, I always get lost here. We will add them to video content PLR individual. I don't actually have a list specifically set up for the meditation set just yet. We'll hit save and that's pretty much it. Then we'll hit save and get URL. That will get you the URL which will link to your checkout page. And then you will just put that URL on your sales page, make sure that any buttons that you have will go to that page. And as soon as you are ready, you're going to want to come back to product and switch this to live. And once you are live, you'll be good to go.
And that's it. If you leave it at test mode, which I recommend that you do before you go live, you can then make some test purchases using some of your own email addresses and make sure that you get your login credentials, you get on, you get put onto the correct email listing question and all of that stuff. And once you've double checked everything that it's all working, then you can be good to go. So you can see it's fairly, fairly simple. One thing I do want to show you before we finish is come back to products. You can see here that I don't have a nice looking image. So I can click on this. It's that one there. So we'll add that and fingers crossed that will upload and we'll be good to go. You want to create a coupon, you can do that in here. You want to do split testing, add upsells and downsells, you can. But this is just a very basic way of setting up a product inside of Thrivecart. So as I mentioned, I do have a full review on Thrivecart. You can check that out below this video. I'll tell you the pros and also the cons. I have noticed a few cons of using Thrivecart. Nothing is perfect, but it is a really, really great product. And if you do want to sell your own stuff, you are going to need a way of, you know, accepting payments and delivering that product. And Thrivecart is as good as any payment processor. And they do have a lifetime option, which is great, which means you don't have to pay um, a monthly fee to use it. Any questions, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the bell notification, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another video. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.